Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 72 of Mountain Blade Bannerlord. I said Warband in the uh, in the previous episode. No, we, this is not... Oh, I love Warband. I still love Warband. But this is a lot better game than Warband. Warband is a little... Slightly simpler than this, and um, uh, no question, I love Warband. So I think uh, I we did like two types of playthroughs uh, that uh, we recorded. But oh, how do we get to Sanopia? Uh, huh? Do we? Oh, we go through here, through here. Okay. Man, that's complex, huh? And then once we get to Sanopia, um, what I just want to show is that uh, we are going through uh, this area so that we can pick up on Pujos and um, tribesmen uh, throwing daggers all kind of stuff and then uh, between this episode and the next episode what I want to do is uh, go back to Marunath and concentrate on oh, so these are oh we could have gotten these guys but we're all maxed out now wow this is like yeah the equities and this is like the heavy horsemen yeah okay Okay, we'll do that next time. <laughs> uh, byproducts. Uh, I think they're selling hardwood here. Yeah. So we can make some more. Uh, we can make some more swords in uh, Sanopia. Okay. Um, wait, where are we going to Sanopia? Yeah. And hopefully we can have, uh, because I mean, our garrison in um, in Manorath has increased. The, I mean, our garrison size has increased. We have not packed it up yet, and there's still some room in Varon Castle. So um, we will drop them off. The other thing that we can do is also since we picked up. Uh, the new companion, I was thinking, hold on, so, so they rebelled again? Oh, they lost, oh, they, oh, who's the folk? Uh, wh when we were there, I was, I, I intentionally passed by through who's and folk uh, to see if we can take advantage while they are, you know, when the rebels just took it over, but uh, the, uh, S Southern Empire uh, beat us to it, so <laughs> I wasn't able to take a uh, plus. They had like, uh, oh, when we were here the last time, they had a bunch of horses for sale. Oh, not not as many saddle horses do not count. Okay. Oh no. So trying to get. War mounts for um, Valandians is really hard. Uh, it's easier to get war um, m regular mounts for the uh, for the Empire. Ouch. Okay. Anyway, um, I think we will we'll try to see if we can make it home quick. Uh, what are the things here we can buy? Meat? No, we already have a lot of that. A, a lot of them. Uh, olives? No, I think we will just. Uh, if we need to buy stuff, we'll buy it from our own. Oh, oil, wine. Oh, they're expensive. I think we should buy one of the businesses in our uh, in Manorath, uh, simply because uh, we have. So that we control the whole town, right? Uh, right now, we have almost no control over our own town. Uh, we don't have any businesses. Uh, okay, so we cannot... Wow, we have to pay 24000 
Okay, uh, let's go to the smithy. And we can start going back to what we used to do. No, 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 not this guy. Uh, here. Yeah, because uh, in refining, yeah, we have to have that skill to maximize our ability. Right now, we don't have that many wood. So... Okay... Ouch, okay. Uh, we can smelt items down though. Uh, hold on, uh, like this guy can start smelting items. We don't need any skill when it comes to smelting items. Except we don't have enough wood. So look at his skill go up very quickly. Uh, no. Yeah, this uh, console is really... It's not as easy as uh, point and click. So this is giving us uh, some... Uh, wrought iron, not as much. Uh, unlike the um, lowland, lowland kind of—I can't remember what the exact description is. That one gives us like four uh, wrought iron. Uh, we don't have that, right? We have tribesmen, tribesmen. Yeah, we don't have that. Okay, now we can go back into making. I don't think we have. We can only make 15, um, 15 of these double-handed swords because each one requires six wrought iron, and we are at 93. So yeah, we can only make 15 of these. Yep. Uh huh. We'll have Niasa make them because he is. Uh, his what do you call this his um ability is so high oh we gain a level cool okay then we'll have him smelt stuff uh so that hopefully he'll learn something like the falchion Nope, he did not learn anything from that one. Pujo, are there uh, Iron Spatha? Oh, he's not learning anything. Come on, learn something. Yep, Egg Pommel of a one handed sword, Hatchet. Siax. Nope, he's not learning anything. Uh, another Hatchet. CX. Nope. We're running out of items to smelt. Uh, Cyphos. No, not the not the crafted swords. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, tribesman draw. Broad bladed. Okay. Leather Alicia Grip. Okay, are we maxed out on everything? No, we can have her do more smelting. Okay, we're we're done. And I think um, we can expect Kasirea, uh, our sister-in-law, uh, wife of Farak, to uh, give birth very soon. I saw a, a, a quick blip that says that, oh, uh, she is pregnant. So that's cool. So... Uh, we can look forward to her adding to the family. Okay, we can go to the trade window. And... Still another charger. And 
and hopefully any more here nope nope okay uh, we can now sell stuff yeah look at that inventory <laughs> Cool. Okay, now, oh, who's this guy? Oh, that's our one of our traders. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll head straight home. Um Epicotea. Or should we go through I think we go better through Epicotea and then and then head to Maranath. The other thing we can do is, ooh, look at these guys. Wow, I'm, but we're maxed out, right? So that's why we need to go home and, um, <sighs> wow, that is C Raiders. That is so tempting. Okay. And then we can pass by here by the wood this one, this one, and here, and then come to Sianan. And now, yeah, we have, we all have, ooh, what's going on here? So who is fighting the Western Empire? Yeah, who's fighting the Western Empire? Oh, against Valandia. Look at how slow we're moving. This, you know, this map is so much bigger than the one in uh, Warband. It looks the same, but it's a lot bigger. That's why our movement is so slow. And it's a lot more cities are packed into it. Okay, you know what? Let's go check. Oh, these these guys are not looking for manpower, right? I was hoping, yeah, some of these mines along the way might be looking for manpower. Like this one, that's also another mine. That's another mine right here. But none of them are looking for manpower. Ooh. Disappointment. Disappointment. Batanian Canterian can Charger. Okay. Ouch. That's expensive. Okay. Wow. This is going to be expensive. And we have nothing to offset the purchases here. Whoa. Okay. Anyway. Uh, this is a loss right here. Anyway, we're just under 10 million. Okay, we have nothing to sell, right? Uh, let's check uh, what do they have. Uh, we have some hides that we can sell. Uh, And then I think I think that's about it. Uh, oil? No, we don't we don't want that. Meat? No. Yep, that's it. I don't think we have anything to sell. Oh, we want to buy these also. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um. Done. You know what? We can go to the smithy. Now we have wood. <laughs> okay. Okay. We can have we have wood. We can refine. Right? 
And then uh, we just need to. Oh, we are running out of wrought iron also. Okay. Uh, you know, I think we need to check on uh, Farok. Farok now has another skill point that we can add to smithing. He's now he hit. He's gone up past fifty. So yeah, he will have. An, oops, we're done. Uh, we can go smelt stuff. Uh, tribesman, Pujo. Yeah, this guy is going to go up very quickly. So the other thing I was thinking is that we should have Kundal and this new guy uh, that we just got. We should now set them up as uh, independent. So they're out there uh, roaming around and what do you call this? Uh, like Mitara. So we have like four people out there and we give them really good high level troops so that uh, if each each person can get their each their own troop up to a hundred then we will have like 400 out there and we have 200 so we're talking about at least 600 now our we can call them our, our army together and then we yeah we we represent um, a decent sized force not a large force i've seen a lot of like 1500 and then two of them combined is like wow it's like almost 3000 uh they don't combine into one army but they follow each other and wow that's like 1500 followed by accompanied by another one that's around 1500 cheese that is like huge and i think the western empire or the the empires, the north, western, and southern, they have the size to make those kind of huge armies. And when I saw them, I said, you know what, we are way outclassed. <laughs> we just don't have the, we don't have the heft to go up against them. Okay, now that we have, uh, Batania, no, uh, nope. Okay, we can, we can get back some of the cash that we spent. No, no, no. Wow, we're 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 closing in on a on ten million bucks. Okay, we're done. We're done. Uh where are we off to? See I'm looking for see these guys don't have like a uh the exclamation point next to them so wait uh, okay let's go there let's buy some hardwood from that one hopefully yeah we can pick up some hardwood from them yeah I'm not look I'm not seeing anyone that has a uh, That has a quest. Those exclamation points. Okay, we're buying hardwood. Whoa, look at these guys. We could have easily, yeah, picked up... Okay, anyway, um... Come over here. Hopefully, this guy has uh, cheese and butter, because I see a cow sign. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, these these mines don't have. Uh, see, there are so many mines around here, but none of them is showing. Uh, oh, Farok has gained a level. Cool. None of them are showing requirement for manpower. Okay. No, we don't need these guys. Uh, these are. Oh, they're sturgeons. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, we need cheeses. Yes. Then we can come here. This is our normal place for um, logs. So if we, it has been very slow, I mean the development here, we could actually have four troops out there and all of them at 100 each and then if we give them, I don't know how well the AI handles uh, quality troops. So we can give them the troops, wait, I think this is a battalion, right? This is, yeah. If we like it takes forever for us to train them up to the fifth and sixth tier uh troops yet um so I don't know how good they uh the AI is so if we let's say we give to Mitara Mitara I think currently is running around with I think a party of 131 so if we give her like basically tier fives and tier six troops will she be able to hold on to them or will she be like very wasteful in how she uh, treats her troops so that uh, you know uh, and then just replace you know get them killed and then replace them with uh, lousy troops I mean I don't know so we can test that out but uh, see it takes us, it takes us forever, you know, going after looters, going after uh, bandits to uh, level our troops up to level f fives and sixes, and that that that's not what our uh, not not what these guys are doing. I mean, not what the AI is doing. Although when we look at the troop composition of the AIs. Like this guy. Hold on. Like this guy. Oh, uh, we're not close enough, so we cannot see it. Usually when the army is very large, say, like, our size, about 200, 300, uh, they have a huge amount of Tier 1, Tier 2 troops. And most of them are usually infantry like almost 50% is infantry so that's good for us in a way right because uh, they are although they have the numbers they are not really strong uh, this is 1200 this is another war mount okay how about here Okay, uh, oh, low, uh, so this is the one, I think, these are the, I think these are the low land that give us like four wrought iron. Grain, fish, grapes. No, let's not buy the grapes. Uh, cheese, no, expensive, olives. Meat is also expensive, beer. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Hides. Oh. We're out of hides. Okay. Uh, 
and we can go back we're going to sell them some of our swords okay we're 9.4 million whoa we have so much cash okay uh, let's come to here let's check on okay let's look at this guy let's look at this guy's troop composition so he's got five cavalry and 96 uh, infantry so he looks like a big party and uh, battalion highborn warrior so that's an archer uh, only three horsemen foxmen those are those are, I think tier four tier four or tier five battalion raiders that's I think that's tier three runners tier two trade warrior so no then we can so one on one uh, even if we have the same even if we have less troops than this guy we can actually take him down very easily and let's look at let's look at Mitara What does she? Oh, he had battalion high born youth. Oh, those we gave that to her, and they have not. Oh, maybe they. Yeah, we gave her so high born warrior now. Okay, so that's a level up. Picked warrior, runner, battalion volunteer. Wow, those are those are just level one. A battalion fiend champions. Oh, a banner knight, sturgeon warrior, clan scout. Skirmishers, Battalion Hero, Imperial Equity. We gave her that too. So the Imperial Vigla recruit, she has not improved on those. Imperial recruit has not improved on those. Okay. Uh, yeah, that is that's problematic. Okay. Uh, so uh, I think what I'll be doing next is I'll be uh, mix and matching troops. I think I will try to see if we can strengthen the troop composition of Mitara uh, because she has 131 troops so she actually has the best uh, I mean she looks like she's very good in amassing a, a troop size that's big uh, so and then I will be coming to Maranath and again concentrate on improving our blacksmithing so that we can have a high level one-handed sword Okay, anyway, uh, our timer went off, so I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye!